Hello guys, this is Mr. Hernandez with a new lesson for you guys. This week, we're gonna be learning and creating robots. Okay, so now I ask you, how can we create a super cool and awesome robot using shapes and lines that we already know? Shapes like squares, circles, triangles, lines like zigzag, um, curvy line, um, spiral, all those shapes and lines that we already know, we can use them to incorporate them in this really, really cool lesson. To do this, you're gonna need a piece of paper, a right? piece of paper, blank paper, um, pencil and eraser, always pencil and eraser. Um, I'm using a black marker, but remember that you can use a black crayon or a black color pencil to outline as soon as you finish your pencil work and coloring tools like crayons, color pencil, or markers to pretty much color the final picture, all right? Remember that at any point, if you're feeling like you're a little behind, you can pause the video, draw, catch up, and then press play again so you can continue, all right? So that's it, that's all you need. Let's start the lesson. So guys, this is all you need to start your robot project, okay? I have the paper, pencil eraser, my marker, and my coloring tools, all right? I always suggest that you start with pencil and eraser. Once you finish everything with pencil and eraser, you have all your pencil work, then you can outline it with your marker, okay? I am going to start using my marker so you can see it better, okay? So let's do this. I wanna start with the head of the robot. Okay, I'm gonna have, kind of like on the, on the top of the paper, okay? I'm gonna start with the head. I'm gonna start with this shape, creating a horizontal line. Okay, I have this horizontal line. And I'm gonna add kind of like a semicircle curve on the top. It's gonna be the head of the robot, okay? You can change it if you wanna start with a circle, square, triangle, it is up to you guys. I'm gonna add some antennas. And maybe a circle here, it's gonna look super cool. It's connected. Then a circle here. Cool. Maybe I can have a curly line here. Connecting both antennas. And now I want to work with the face. Maybe circles. Okay. Nose. And a huge smile. Okay. Let add, let's add some details, all right? Have this. Maybe some lines here. Maybe. Okay. Let's add the eyes. And then this section here, I can fill it in. Okay. Maybe some eyebrows too, why not? All right, so it's that simple. Maybe I can add the neck. All right, and then I'm gonna go straight to the body. I'm gonna add the body here. All right, shapes that we already know. All right, I wanna add some details to the body. I want to add a bow tie, it's going to look super nice. Awesome. Maybe some buttons, kind of like gadgets inside the, the body of the robot. Maybe here a circle, you know, kind of like measuring all the things this robot and make 
make maybe some buttons down here. It's gonna be cool. Maybe you can add like a little screen or something to your robot. Okay, it's gonna look really cool. And these are just lines and shapes that we already know, right? I'm gonna add an arm here using curve and another curve and then another arm right here using curve. Then let's pretend that we have the hands like this. This looks like the, the, the hands look like macaroni. Looks cool. Then I'm gonna add some lines here. You know, so it looks like they move this way, right? I have the head, torso, arms. I'm gonna work with the legs, all right? I'm gonna do kind of like the same here. Then here too. Then I wanna add this right here. Right? Maybe an oval in the middle, kind of like to represent the knees there. And then again, I'm gonna add some lines. To add some details. And Awesome. Once you have, once you have your marker work, once you have this marker work, you can add color to it. You can color it. All right. You can add beautiful colors just like this. You can add your background. You can add everything that you want. All right. To represent your robot. Maybe your robot is in a city. Maybe your robot is inside a house or you just want to add lines and patterns and design to your background. Okay, have fun, color it, and I hope you have, you make a beautiful, beautiful job with your robot. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. As soon as you finish with everything, don't forget to clean up your area. Remember that on the assignment page on Canvas, you're gonna have a lot of examples, a lot of other robots that you can see so to, to use them as a reference. Maybe you want to change it a little bit, or maybe you want to use other shapes. You don't necessarily have to use what I created here. You can go to the assignment page, see those examples, and use them as a reference. Do not forget to take a picture of your artwork and upload it to the assignment page on the canvas. You're going to see a red button that says submit assignment. Okay, I am so excited to see all the artwork that you're about to create. I miss you guys. I hope we can see each other soon. Mwah. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.